Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and I'm having some slight issues with a Sega. I did an unboxing of this, and that will be posted as soon as this problem is resolved. It's missing one of the little rubber feet, so I have a screwdriver holding one side up. I have a new set of rubber feet on the way. But... I've upgraded this to um, a 3.2 gigahertz Pentium 4 processor, HT hyper threaded, but it's only recognizing it as a 1600 megahertz. I heard that updating the BIOS might fix it, but this didn't come with a wireless card installed. I just put one in. See, it even shows over here. CPU clock, 1600 megahertz. And even in uh, Windows XP, it shows that. And even though, even though uh, hyper-threading is enabled, and custom settings is on always on. Um, it's still not really doing anything. If there's one thing to change in the BIOS that would help resolve this problem up here, that'd be awesome. But apparently, no such luck. Now let's let it boot into Windows XP. This is an old hard drive and I'm going to decommission it soon. So, yeah, it's got all the right drivers and stuff, except for a few. They're all installed, but not installed really correctly. There's a Windows XP disk in there. I was using it on another hard drive ready to boot from there. It's got two DVD drives. Well, my bad. One DVD, one CD drive. Two drive slots, simply saying. You can hear the hard drive, it's old, getting ready to die. recognizing the wireless cards there, but that's not what I needed to show you. Showing only one core, showing that's not hyper-threaded. CPU time, one got per CPU. If it's hyper-threaded, it would recognize it as two. Going into control panel and system. You can move it, there we go. It's recognizing it as 3.2 gigahertz, but it's running at 1.6 gigahertz. If you know it's wrong, please let me know. Because then, for you, you get to see the review of this. Why does Apple make you tap the screen to focus? Do it automatically, 